good evening. My name is Judah. I am a part of uh, the St. John's family. Let's just take a moment to gather the thoughts for this evening's Compline Prayers for Advent. If you do have a, a service sheet, you can join along by saying the words in bold or just simply just join in however you feel comfortable. Advent is a time of watching and waiting in expectation for the coming of Christ. The word made flesh, the light that shines in the darkness. Look towards the east, O Jerusalem, and see the glory that is coming from God. The Lord be with you, and also with you. you're hearing me all right I'm getting an error message but we will continue we will say the antiphon for tonight Thursday O key of David and scepter of the house of Israel you open and no one can shut. You shut and no one can open. Come and lead the prisoners from the prison house, those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death. This is the day that the Lord has made we will rejoice and be glad in it come O Lord and save us we pray come Lord send us now prosperity blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord we bless you from the house of the Lord the Lord is God he has given us light link the pilgrims with cords right to the horns of the altar you are my god and i will thank you you are my god and i will exalt you oh give thanks to the lord for he is good his mercy endures forever glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and shall be forever amen we will now uh, do tonight's reading. Tonight's reading is from the second chapter of Luke. And we'll be looking at verses 1 to 7. It's the birth of Jesus. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while... Quirinius was governor of Syria, and everyone went, down, went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Gal Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was, and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. 
and she gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. I really like this, this story. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. This story of Luke's Luke's account of the life and birth of Jesus, which includes the story of John the Baptist so far, is probably what the stuff of blockbusters are made of. Or perhaps not, I don't know. In the nativity interpretations, a donkey comes into the story, though no donkey is ever mentioned, though it's not far-fetched. Nonetheless, let us imagine for a moment that Mary did in fact ride a donkey to Bethlehem. Not really a comfortable ride for a pregnant woman in any case. In fact, it may have been a rather slow ride. They get to Bethlehem and everyone is there, aunties, cousins, whole families, because of the decree. All family accommodation is full and there would be hardly any space in the homes. This kind of reminds me of my childhood Christmas days back in Jamaica when relatives would return from abroad or families would come from other places in the island. We'll all stay in one home sometimes on Christmas Eve or on Christmas Day. There would be hardly any place for, for us to sleep. But I remember as a child, it was fun because we were together as family. But I digress. So back to the story. While in the midst of what could have been a family gathering, Mary goes into labor and gives birth to the Savior of the world. How exciting is that? It feels a lot like Christmas to me. The joy of celebration of a gift of a newborn child. And this one was indeed a special one in every sense of the word. Pretty epic, I think. Well, that is where we must stop for today. So come back tomorrow for the rest of the story. Let's just take a moment to think about that. I don't know if my way of telling it helped in any way to maybe make it a little bit more real about an occasion that it was. And I'm sure we'll hear about other people who celebrated that birth. Thank you, Lord. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Hallelujah, hallelujah. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Let me just take a minute to pause as we go into the confession for tonight and just, just bring quietly in your space before the Lord the things of the day. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. 
Holy God, we confess to you before the company of the faithful in heaven and on earth that we have sinned against you, against one another, and against your creation. Forgive us in your mercy. Help us to forgive each other and to hold in reverence all that you have made. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Pardon me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now and shall be forever. Amen. Now we turn to Psalm 118, which we have been looking at for this series of Advent. Psalm 118, 19 to 29. Open to me the gates of righteousness, that I may enter and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord, and, right, and righteous shall enter through it. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me, and have become my salvation. The stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. I actually just realized, and I will confess, that I have made an error in the pages, and I've kind of did things backwards <laughs> this evening uh, it, I just caught up on that but that's fine we continue I think it's just all about you know us just joining in prayer and so forgive me I was reading it and I realized no Judah you've made a mistake but we continue because it is the Lord's doing and it is marvelous in our eyes I think in the last few weeks I've been reminded of the frailty of humanity even in this error that I have made and we we make mistakes and I think often you know as we you just meditate on this we say oh oh goodness what have I done I've just mucked, mucked this up but you know God is so gracious in our lives and and often some things happen and we can be really hard on ourselves but you know as we as we are in prayer tonight and we see your frailties, I see that I've just made this, a mistake with the pages and you might be saying, well, Judah, you're wrong. Yeah, I made a mistake. But you know, it reminds me of the Father's love in a way where sometimes we make mistakes and we go, oh, I just can't do this. I don't think God wants me when he's just holding out his hands and saying, actually, I'm still here. I'm still your father. So even though I got the pages muddled up a bit, I think it's just that importance. I remember the last study I did was when, with Zachariah and people were gathered to pray. And I think often the Lord doesn't want perfection, but he just wants us to be true to ourselves. So I thank you, Lord, for that reminder, even in the midst of messing up. <laughs> So if I can find that where I'm supposed to be in a minute, now I'll continue. So let's just continue again from the responses. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Hallelujah, hallelujah. For you have redeemed me, Lord, God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Come, O Lord, and visit us in peace. Let us rejoice before you with a pure heart. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared.
prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall forever be. Amen. Come, O Lord, and visit us in peace. Let us rejoice before you with a pure heart. So, Lord, I just want to thank you. Thank you for just being a father, who a father who chases after us, who came after his creation by sending the gift of Jesus. And even as I, we've been reminded of our frailties and our imperfections, I am reminded of your love as a father. So thank you, Lord, for your gift. Amen. Come, O Spirit of God, and make within us your dwelling place and home. May our darkness be dispelled by your light and our troubles calmed by your peace. May all evil be redeemed by your love and all pain transformed through the suffering of Christ and all dying glorified in his risen life. Amen. Let's join in saying the Lord's Prayer. You might have a slightly different version, but let's just say it together. Our Father, who art in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for the king for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever amen Indeed, Lord, the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Let's just take a minute to just remember that. All honor and glory goes to him who sits on the throne. Thank you, Lord. In peace we lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus. For the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. Restore us again, O God of hosts. Show us the light of your countenance and we shall be saved. Bless and keep us this night and always. May the power of the Redeemer keep us watchful and faithful as we await his coming in glory. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit rest upon us and those whom we love this night and always. Amen. we continue to commit to God the journey of Advent as we wait the coming of Christ who is God in flesh we ask for strength to witness to the light of his love in the world come Lord Jesus come thank you for joining us for evening prayers my name is Judah have a peaceful night's rest. The peace of the Lord be with you.